Hi, here's Shimon Bofniak from Microsoft 365 at work. Start to use new Microsoft bookings and organize meetings with your customers in automated way. New Microsoft Booking landed on the Office 365 and this is the application that provides unique possibility for online scheduling with your customers. You can easily build the solution that will allow you to implement automated process of online scheduling the meetings or the services with your customers. There is the whole setup behind the bookings application that will allow you to manage that process. And what is the greatest thing here, this application is a part of Office 365, so there is good chance that you already own it. Learn with me how to set up this application on your Office 365 tenant and start to book the meetings with your customers better way. If you like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the information about the new videos, please leave the subscription. And now let's switch to my screen. Before we will move forward to start to use Microsoft Bookings, we need to check first if the application is turned on and available for the users. To do that, go to the settings in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and search for Organization Settings. In this case, you should be able to find Bookings application. It could happen that this option will not be available for you. You need to remember that not for every license Microsoft Bookings application is available. In the description of the video, you will find the link to the article which describes exactly when you are eligible to use Microsoft Bookings application in your Office 365. When you will find the application, go there and check if your organization allowed to use Microsoft Bookings. If this is checked, you are good. Close the option and go for your active users. Review users who will be nominated to use Microsoft Bookings from perspective of having this application assigned to them. Open the account, go for licenses and apps and review if Microsoft Bookings is present there. You will need to check that for all users you want to engage in using Microsoft Bookings in your organization. To start the work with Microsoft Bookings, you will need to configure this application first. Go for the Office 365 landing page and search for the Bookings application. After you will set all necessary licenses, this application will be displayed for you. Open the app you will be navigated to the bookings application and at the first step you will need to set it up. To do that, select the button presented on the screen. At the first step you will need to create the booking calendar and describe the business you want to offer for your customers. As soon as you will set up the name of your brand and the short description about what kind of service you're offering, just continue. After the setup, Bookings create the dedicated calendar you will use and now you can start to set up the whole application from perspective of landing page for the customers and also your availability for the additional services. If you're starting with Microsoft Bookings, I would recommend you to enable the new version of Microsoft Bookings to have better user interface than the old Bookings application you can see on the screen. To do that, navigate to the top right corner and select Try the new bookings. The new version of Microsoft Bookings will load to your screen and you can see this is totally different experience, closer to Outlook experience with more modern approach presented to you directly. Bookings application will present you the few elements, so the calendar with all appointments that are scheduled we will get back here later on, the list of customers who can register for your services. This is also something that will fill in based on the landing page we will prepare and the setting of the application we will configure at the first step. The first element you will need to set up is the team members that will work with you from perspective of supporting the customers or handling the scheduled meetings or scheduled services through Bookings application. To do that, open the staff tab and select add the new staff member. You can search for all team members that have assigned licenses for Microsoft Booking, so this is also important to set it up properly at the very first step. 
and what is quite important you can set up when these people will be available for their services so if you would like to set it up this way feel free to do that but remember people you want to add here as the team members that will work on bookings need to have the license assigned for microsoft bookings application from perspective of your account you can set up when do you want to be available for your customers for possible scheduled meetings so this is also quite important should it be whole day or some part of the time during the day when you will be able to schedule the meetings this is quite important and also remember to tick your availability of when the meeting will be booked so also tick this option on your screen in this case, what we will do, we will set up my availability from 5 p.m. or maybe 5.30 to 6 p.m. This is only the time when I will be available for possible calls that can be scheduled with my customers. And because I'm not super happy to work afternoon at Friday, I will delete this record from my availability. After you set up that configuration, save it. Remember, you will need to do that for all team members you want to put in Microsoft Bookings, but this is the first step you need to do. The next step for you will be to set up the services you want to offer to your customers. You can see one-to-one -one service is something that is presented by default. What we will do here, we will delete that and we will create the new service based on our expectations. You can describe the service, so the name, description should be additional meeting added, how long this should take, like maybe 30 minutes, and should be added additional buffer time, break between sequential meetings that will be booked for your calendars, like five minutes before and five minutes later on. And what should be also the price per the meetings, like fixed price, you can set $50 price per half of hour walking during that kind of service, additional notes, how many people could join that kind of appointment and remember to select if this booking service should be available on your booking page. I set my configuration for the service I want to offer I switching to availability options, possible additional options you can use. Remember, these are the defaults from the setting you can change them there. Assign people from your team members who should be assigned to that kind of service additional custom field which you want to gather from your customers when they will order the service from you. It could be, you know, some kind of comment, additional notes from the customers. So this could be also quite useful. And the reminders you want to send to the customer about possible coming service for them. By default, there is one day before reminder that is set up. This is the message that the customer will receive directly from the system. When you are ready, save the changes. Thanks to that, your service that will be offered through Microsoft Bookings will be added. You will have possibility to set up multiple services in your Microsoft Bookings. The third option you should know are custom fields. So all kind of custom fields you want to add to your forms in Microsoft Bookings to gather the information from your customers. Of course, it will strongly depends on type of the services you want to offer for them. But what you can see, you can get the text questions from them or some kind of drop down choices that you want to offer for your customers to choose during the registration for the meeting. And the last option you should focus on is booking page. This is the place when you can set up how the service should be working and be presented to your customers. The first thing you should focus on, how do you want to publish that kind of booking service globally or just for the people in your organization? It strongly depends what kind of services you want to offer to the people you will work with. If you want to build internal services, use people in the organization, if you want to push that globally and allow external users to fill the form, use available for everyone. There are also few additional options we should get through. From perspective of some kind of security, I recommend to do not allow to search engines to index the content of your page and also to use the newest version of Microsoft Bookings. From perspective of the customer, this is also something that could be added here. So some kind of privacy policy that you want to add to your page. This is something from legal perspective could be required to be set in there. And a few final steps, default scheduling policies. So this is the screen which we've seen on the configuration of the service. So how the time should be increased, what kind of notifications and how to assign the staff to the bookings. 
And last two settings are more connected with the branding of your page. So what kind of colors should be used, usage of the business logo and your local time zone. This is very important to use proper time zone to be sure that this will be not something that will ruin your service in the end. When you will be ready, save the changes. This is the part where your service is available. In the end, you will also get the information about your address of the booking page, which you can share with your colleagues or with customers externally available through the internet. The last element you should focus on is the business information. So some kind of branding of your page. And there are three categories that you should use business hours so something very simple you should understand that very quickly so if you would like to delete the friday just do this this way if you want to add the business logo in here use the logo exactly like this one and business information so what is your address what is your business location privacy policy currency and type of your business as soon you have all information just save the configuration and we are good to go to see how our booking page looks like right now finally when your landing page is prepared and published you can select the possible available services select who should be the consultant you work you can work with and you can look for available time slots and book that kind of one-to-one -one consulting service and fill the form so you can see you will need about 10 maybe 15 minutes to build the booking solution using office 365 services it is quite easy to be done and this is a service that is part of office 365 so you don't have to bought additional services like calendry and you can use it internally or externally for your external customers. Especially that new Microsoft Bookings look is much better than previous very nasty, very old Bookings application. All registered customers will land in your calendar in Microsoft Bookings and also will be registered in the customer registration on Bookings application. The last element I would like to recommend you is integration between Bookings and Microsoft Teams. You can very easily add Bookings application to your Microsoft Teams app. Just go to the apps, search for Bookings, and then add application to your Microsoft Teams. Soon you will see that application is added here and you will be able to see all scheduled appointments in your calendar. And it will also bring Booking Calendar to your calendar in Microsoft Teams. You can see integration between Bookings and Microsoft Teams is very easy. You can use it directly from your Outlook, from the web or from Microsoft Teams. What will work the best for you? As you can see, setup of Bookings application took about 15 minutes. It's not super complex process, but after that you will have the fully functional online scheduling solution, which you can put on your website, on your blog, put the link on the Facebook or use internally with your business colleagues. It is really worth to check. I advise you to try it, play with it and see if this will be something that will improve your business processes. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you in next episode.